So, let's have a look at how to make a cogwheel in Affinity Designer version 2 on the iPad. Let's start with our blank clipboard art. Clip art board. 3600 by 3600 pixels. Our blank canvas. Simple so far, of course. Next, draw out a donut shape from the shape tools on the left. In there you'll find one called donut shape. Make the circle that you create 2775 pixels in diameter and center it, center it exactly on the page. Now select the node tool from the toolbar on the left. You'll see a red dot appear on the inner edge. Draw the inner circle out to reach the size you want. Now we have the outer ring of the cog. Now let's add some teeth. So let's put eight teeth inside this cog. Now they're nearly impossible to do freehand. So we'll use a bit of maths. Draw a rectangle shape, the size you want, and place it on the inner edge, exactly in the center of the center line. The first tooth placed in position. Now we need to repeat this eight times around the circle. You can see it there, very nice. Select the node tool and select the sub option that sets the point transform. That's what you want, the point transform option. This highlights the tooth shape and sets a point in the center of the tooth. Now draw the dot or crosshair as it will become down to the exact center of the circle. And if you've got snapping on, of course, it's easy to find because you get your red and green lines appearing. This image is enlarged, of course, so you can see it clearly. Now, a little bit of math. We want eight teeth, so that's the 360 degree circle divided by eight. Easy, huh? The answer is 45, which means that we need a tooth repeated every 45 degrees. So let's do this the slow way to start with. I'm sure you can work out the faster method, but I want to show you the slow way because you'll need it for other things. With the first tooth selected, make a duplicate. Then in the Transform Studio, go to Rotation section, enter 45 and tap OK. The duplicate will reposition itself. How easy is that? Repeat the steps again and again until all are done. Duplicate, rotate 45, repeat. And there's our finished cog. Now you can use a texture to give it some design. Select all layers from the geometry menu, then select add. Now add a rusty background by using your cog shape as a mask. So let me say that again. Select all the layers and from the geometry menu select add. So you add them all together and you end up with one shape. Then you use it as a mask over a rust uh, textured. You can find rusty textures, they're freely available on the internet and probably in the stock studio. Anyway, you drag it behind and there it is. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please share the video with your friends. I'm sure they'll love it. And you can carry on making cogs to your heart's content now. Big cogs, little cogs, small cogs.